The next sheet I uh, come into for uh, programming is on the uh, lighting effects. So depending upon which light I want to perform, which function, uh, like a ditch light, strobe light, Mars light, particular tab allows us to do that. Also allows us to set heat of the flash um, and also the intensity. So by varying these down here, you can come up with some pretty cool effects. So if you want like kind of like a, a dimmer uh, of a rotary beacon, uh, come down here and change these. And then if you want like a really quick uh, burst of light, like uh, in the newer strobe lights that you can have, uh, especially like uh, Amtrak guys, uh, remotes, uh, you're gonna wanna be making those changes down there so you can get some kind of cool effects. Uh, the next tab that I go into and use a lot, especially for determining the type of prime mover or how I'm going to be running the locomotive either manually or automatically, sheet is what's going to allow us to uh, make those changes. So for example, currently the default is set uh, increase RPM uh, every seven steps. I can come in here and I can choose whether I want to set it uh, a change in notching every two speed steps uh, all the way down to every uh, 15 speed steps. This right here uh, allows me to change how the notching is controlled so I can either keep the RPM till the engine starts or disable that interlock. And then the next thing I really like is the auto start enabled. And so that way, every time that locomotive is put on the track, it will not start up until I tell it to do so. Next kind of cool thing is working with your dynos. So uh, depending upon the type of uh, locomotive or even the railroad that uh, your model ran on, you can control how those dynos will come into effect. So you can either those brakes so when they are in effect, the locomotive's uh, prime mover can either notch up and down. Uh, so go and select your type of prime mover uh, horns and then the uh, ring rate uh, bell that you have right here. There's just a pile of them that you can see. There's probably at least 30, 35 bells to choose from. And then uh, the type of horns uh, from uh, modern uh, K5 LAs and several types of those uh, all the way down uh, Nathan's, Leslie's, uh, Wabco's and then uh, some specific ones like a Klaxon air horn uh, or otherwise known as the Ouga um, and several other types. Uh, down here also and uh, how you want your couplers to uh, engage or in disengage and then actually with dealing with sound I like to have my locomotives if they are not being used to turn off automatically and I can set that rate right here so basically it's a one for one a value of 53 would equal 53 seconds so on and so forth so you can set that timeout period so the locomotive would automatically turn off after about uh, three minutes or you can just simply leave it off in the zero position and that means it'll never turn off until you t tell it to do so. Dealing with sound decoders, uh, this is probably one of the most important pages. This allows you to come in and actually uh, change the volume level on every single uh, channel sound uh, that the Tsunami uh, has. And that ranges from right up here, the uh, master volume control uh, all the way through all of your uh, various individual sounds, uh, chatter, uh, all the way to fuel loading, um, cab doors, train brakes, arm bells, compressors, etc.